Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 23 of the Gillis 82, The Lost Kingdom. Uh, we are back once again. All of us are here. Uh, Bowman is alive for now. Um, hey, you know, if you are excited to see how this uh, difficult, thrilling combat encounter uh, finishes off, um, leave us a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell icon. Uh, leave us a comment here on the YouTube video. If you're listening to the podcast, how how are you doing? Uh, let us know by uh, uh, leaving us a rating, leaving us a review, spreading word of mouth. Follow us on social media at Rollers Guild DND on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And that's everything. Those are all the things I say at the beginning. Um, so that's without it. further ado. Let's go ahead and dive on in to tonight's episode. Content warning. Ravenloft is a setting, can feature disturbing themes and ideas, and while it is never going to be our intention to upset anyone, it is worth noting. Specific tags can be found in the description of this episode. Last time. Following the trail of the detectives Arthur Sedgwick and Alanic Ray, the heroes of End Tandem had arrived in the cursed forest of Tepest, Bentwich Woods. Following the trail of the detective's scent, the party saw several of the Fey residents of the forest and were assaulted by a truly enormous swarm of diseased mice. After dispatching and driving off the mice, they continued following the trail and eventually found a large lumbering structure. Upon arrival, a large skeletal creature attacked the party and shortly afterwards, Mother Lorinda herself appeared and began uh, attacking them as well. As the fight continued, Mother Lorinda killed Bowman, then disappeared somewhere within the house. Artemis was able to revive Bowman, but the fight isn't over yet. And we re-enter initiative order. Uh, so, I believe next up is Penny. What are you doing? Okay, um, I just saw Artie climb through the fake door that Bowman made, so I'm gonna walk towards that way to see what's going on. So I'm gonna go... Oop. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Is that where... It would I be mean, Bowman's in the way. Up here. Oh, okay, he well... he dragged Bowman out of the way. Like, he dragged Bowman into the uh, magical aura. Okay. Can I take the dash action so I can get up there? Yeah. Okay. So I'll get um, up there. I'll just need an athletics check to, like, clamber up and through the hole because the house is a little elevated. 13. Um... <laughs> You can just say do it. it, but it'll cost uh, quadruple movement instead of double movement. Oh, okay. So it'll take an extra 20 feet to clamber up into Right. The so I just get inside. Yeah. Okay. I got you. That's fine. Um. So I'm just going to peek in there and I'll just be like, what's going on? Is everything okay? And survey the scene. Great. Scene does not look good. Scene. Fucking peachy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bowman died. 
Okay, Maybe. and Mother Lorinda? Gone, somewhere in the house. I right. recommend getting in the magic dust in the air. Okay, I'll do that on my... In the next six seconds. In six seconds. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that in six se- <laughs> Let me wait here for six seconds, and then I'll get in there. Yep. Sounds fair. All right, Bowman. Uh, that does bring us to your turn. You have one hit point. You are prone, uh, but I believe you are also inspired. Um, Artemis did inspire you. That's right. I like to think that being inspired counter- counteracts being prone. I've never been inspired while being prone, personally, but uh, well, I'll take... Is it half my movement to stand up? Yeah. I'll take half my movement to stand up. Um, I'm going to... Lay on hands myself and give myself 50 HP. Fab. All right. I just yeah. click all the way down. For those of you playing at home, I still have five uh, lay on hands points. For you, you know, those of you playing with the bingo cards. Yeah, yeah. Um... Going to bonus action, harness... Is that bonus action? It is a bonus action. Uh, Harness divine power, give myself a spell slot back. Because I feel like we're going to need it. And then I'm going to turn Artemis and just go... There's no time to, um, to waste. We need to keep moving. Uh, and I'm just going to make my way to this door right over here. And I'm going to just do an investigation or perception to see if it's booby trapped or whatever, whatever you want me to do. Uh, sure. Go ahead and make a quick perception check for me. Well, you don't have enough time to investigate, but I'll allow you to perce- perception. Perceive I like it. I think the Solomon just, like, puts his hands on his head. And he's like, hmm, all right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perception, that was a 15. 15. Uh, nope, don't think the door is trapped. Okay. Um, I'm not going to risk it, so I'm just going to call that my turn. Yep. Great. Mother Lorinda's turn. She's going to do a thing out of view of you all because, of course, she is. She's going to trip and fall and die. Yep, yeah. that's exactly what happens. <laughs> um, awesome. Yep. Uh, all right. And then let's see. Uh, Elena, that brings us to your turn. Okay. Um,. I can I get into the house? Yes, you can. Um, I yeah. believe My, uh, the bird is helping. Yes, people. Yeah. Cypress is helping people get up through the door, so uh, you can get up there. No check necessary. Um, it'll cost um an extra five feet of movement to do it, but no check required. So okay. And, okay, so I'm going to step inside the door, and this moves with me. Um, so what do I see? So you see the door on the right is shut. The door on the left is open. You can kind of see through the doorway. Your friends have entered there. Um, and then the bearskin rug uh, on the ground in front of you looks like it definitely was not cured properly. It is gross, gross and smelly. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna, like, move, I guess, another step forward. I'm gonna call to my friends that I can see. I guess Janara. I can see her. Um, does anyone need help? Uh, Bowman died. He healed himself a little bit, but he's still not looking 100%. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna use my bonus action to do the aura of vitality for Bowman. Do you want me to roll that, or do you want him to roll that? It's 2d6. Uh, you roll it. You roll it. That's nine additional hit points back. All right. Great. Why, thank you. Um, Okay. 
and then I'm can I save my action in case I see Mother Lorinda show up? I would like to cast Word of Radiance. Yeah, you can hold you can hold the spell. Okay. Um just as long just as long as you know, if it doesn't go off, you still have to expend the spell slot. So. That's a cantrip. Oh, then great. Um okay. Uh, Nyx, that is your turn. Um, I'm gonna stare at the bird. Um, and, like, most of my turn is me debating with myself whether or not I'm gonna let the bird help me. But I do <laughs> let the bird help me. And I go into the into the, the building. But that's about all I have time for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love it. I love it. Um Janara then. That's your turn. Um, I'm going to go up to the door that Bobin is with. Can I do oop, I didn't. Why isn't it letting me move? It's not letting me move my character. Right. Um, that's so weird. Okay. Well, I'm I'm going to walk up to Bowman and I'm going to um to the door. Can I do an Arcana check to see if there's like a spell on the door similar to the front door. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you have experience with that front door, don't oh, you? Oh yeah, you know. Oh gosh, I have negative one to Arcana. Uh fourteen? Uh you don't seem to notice anything. Okay. I'm going to open the door. Door and... opens, nothing happens. Okay. Now go through the door. Um, do I see anything? Uh, yeah. I mean, the room you're in now, uh, seems to be some uh, some kind of small sitting room. It's got sort of a moldered rug on the floor, a chair, uh, seemingly made of bones with the upholstery peeling away from it. Um, but you don't see Mother Lorinda in here. Okay. Can I go up to that door? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I can move myself now. Um, can I also check? I think I have enough movement to do this. Yeah. Can I check this door too? Yeah. Go for um, it. same thing or kind of check? Uh, yeah. Go for it. That's an eleven. It's an eleven. Um, you think you think the door's good? I'm going to open that door, too. Door open safely. Okay. Um, The room that you find yourself in now seems to be some sort of kitchen. Um, it, uh, uh, you know, you see a table off to the left, kind of a prep table. Seems to have moldy vegetables on it. Uh, you also see some, like, smelly fish heads in a pile on that counter. Um, fireplace in front of you uh, is seems to be cold right now, so. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to bonus action um, and heal myself okay. by 2d6. Great. All right. Yeah, heal myself for seven hit points. That's my turn. All right, Artemis, that brings us to your turn. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm going to collect myself off kneeling from the floor, gather my things. Yeah. Bowman walks away. You do so much for a person, and they just don't fucking say thank you. All right, all right. Um, ooh. So everyone looks bad. Mm -hmm. 
You know, Mother Lorinda has also taken a couple of pretty solid hits yeah. herself. So she's so I don't know where she is. Right. I'm going to um use my once per or something, my fave touch thing. I'm gonna cast detect magic. Okay. Might as well just flash. So anything within 30 feet. Where is magic? Hopefully that counts her. You sense or doors. magic. Or magic doors. Why does that not work? Okay. Oh. You do this instead. Um, you sense a source of magic. I don't know if you saw anything flashing on your screen just now. But you sense a source of magic there, where that A is. And oh. um source of magic what? there where that other A is. Jesus. This is just a trick house. Um, that's all you get in thirty feet. Okay. Uh, uh, you get you get some minor little blips that seem to be probably just material, various material components of some kind. Um, somewhere like over here. Hmm. But nothing or major through there. Behind Penny. Yeah. Um. Okay, I will relay those things. Penny, weak magic on the other side of that door. Something's in the next room. Something's also north. On the other side of that wall. Um, I... Bruh, we need to stay close together. I don't have a lot of spell slots left, but if there's something like a fireball or something... I can try and counter. Um, oh god, what the hell am I going to do? I'm low on bardic inspiration, too. I do not have a lot of tricks left. I will hold my action to Eldritch Blast if Mother Lorenzo appears. Now, what the hell to do with my bird? Um... There are no windows to this place, correct? Correct. So that last one. Unless you make one. Unless there is a Bowman-sized window next to us. Um, I'll just have Cypress fly over to there. Well, kind of getting the the pretty a little bit. I'll just have Cypress like rip and make the hole larger. Sure. Easy enough wall. to do for a bird. Cypress's size plus Bowman already started the hole. I'll say you can yeah. pull wider there if you want. Yeah, yeah just no right, bad. right now. Um, I think that's it. I'm just gonna try and look after my friendos. Right. Penny, that's you. So does that mean I shouldn't open this door I'm next to? I mean... I don't, I don't, I didn't detect any magic from the door. Also, that was an action. I can't hold Eldritch Blast. Oh, yeah. Way. Um, I think the door itself is safe. There's just, like, like, weak magic. You know, like, things to make spells. I think oh. you're okay, right, Ben? Yeah. So should yeah. we just avoid the door? Or should yeah, Like, I don't think... Like, as, it's up to you. As, yeah. As far as Artemis knows, that door is safe. Uh, there's no spell on that door. Whatever yeah, is behind like that door is street. basically going to be like material components for spells. Oh, nothing, got you. Nothing inherently dangerous. Okay, then can I title? Can, can I detect something that's on the door in the foyer? Whatever it was, or... it's gone now. Oh, fascinating. Okay, nothing's there. Interesting. I also don't remember if I knew about that. Okay, sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. How much movement to get around Bowman? Uh, it'll just take an extra five feet of movement to move through his space. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Um, okay. I only have 25 feet of movement, so I'm just going to hang out over here. Bowman, that's you. Okay. 
que é... Uh, Bowman is going to follow Penny's lead and go through this room, but then also go into the room where Janara is. Okay. So that is... I'm sitting at 20 feet of movement, so I have 10 more. Uh, you, well, moving through Janara's space costs an extra 5 feet of movement, so... Yes, but from my doorway to this door is only 10 feet. So, going to the yeah, next okay. one. Yeah, okay, I I think you're right, yep. yep. Um, can I do a quick investigation to look at this room? Yeah, Or maybe. a perception check? Uh, your choice now, you haven't burned an action, so you can do a little bit more of a thorough check. That would be the investigation. Yeah, let's do an investigation. Oh, yeah. 19. 19. Um, you can, with that 19, I would say, you can see very faintly on the ground, on, on the floor, where that A is, um, some kind of magical room. Gotcha. <clears throat> um, I'm going to tell Janara, um, if you can, avoid that area. Wait there, probably about 15 feet in front of me. Or 5 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet, that's 10 feet. Okay. Um, can, how big is this fireplace? Uh, like, pretty big. Cool. Can Bowman jump onto there? Um, it doesn't have a lot of, like, foot space for you. Um, what I'm going to say is this is going to be an acrobatics check to see if you can get, like, on the mantelpiece ledge. Um, without slipping and falling. Like, it's, it's a large fireplace, but the actual, like, space on the mantle is not very wide. So it's an acrobatics. It's not athletics, right? It's not athletics. This is purely about balance. Okay. You got this. You're a ballerina. <laughs> I guess I am, because that was a nat 20, baby. You are... The dude just died. I you just died. Just died more than able to clamber up onto there. Um... Yeah. All right, I'll move to the edge, but that is my movement. Great. Uh, yeah, you slide around. You're there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I am gonna bonus action harness divine power and just give myself another slot spell slot back. All right. Great. All right. That brings us to Lorinda's turn. Rips again. And. Great. So you said great. So therefore, she dead. appears uh, coming through the wall on the left. Um, she's going to frown at you and say, "Well, I see we have trouble following orders." And she's going to thrust out uh, her staff and a uh, thick. Rambles are going to shoot out towards both Bowman and Janara. Um, so I'm going to roll to hit each of you. Uh, we'll do Bowman first. That was a natural one. Miss. Uh, Janara next. Oh, God. That was all <laughs> uh, 12. Oh. Um... So, uh, you both managed to dodge out of the way of these brambles, which is a good thing, because on the impact points, you see thorns sprout from the nearest wall, uh, or, or floorboards, um, and it seems like it. You, uh, may have been trapped in prickly brambles if you had not managed to avoid that hit. Um, she frowns, says, well, that didn't exactly go the way I was hoping, but sometimes that's just how it is. And then she will go and just phase right through the doorway and disappear. Fucking bitch. Elena, that's your turn. Yeah, okay. Um, I didn't witness any of that. Nope. Maybe I heard some muffled screaming from afar, but probably not. Um, 
I think I'm gonna go to the right and try to do it. Uh, that door is closed, right? That door is closed, but you can open it. I'm gonna open that door. Great, you open that door. Um, you find your you find yourself in a room. It's got like cabinets with uh glass vials and jars filled with strange liquids. Okay. Um, I guess I'll look at what these liquids might be. Can I do like an investigation as my action? Uh, sure. Make an investigation check. Um. Okay. Um, non-natural 20. Nice. Um, non-natural 20. You see a variety of potions and poisons as well as liquid material components. Um, I think with that non-natural 20, you know enough to know which things are safe and which things are not safe, like, for consumption. Um, I think that perhaps you can mentally log this as an area to come back to after y'all have finished business, because there mm -hmm. might be some useful stuff for y'all here. Okay. Um, and then my bonus action how does this do i have to be able to see or it's just the people within the i think it's just the people within i'm not 100 yeah. but i think it's just the people within it just has to cause one creature in the aura right okay oh. so i'm gonna give it to janara this time that's uh seven hit points back Oh, thank you. Um, and then do I have to roll to keep concentration on this? No, only when you only when you take damage. Okay. So. Um. Yep, I'm just gonna stay where I'm at right. for now. Okay. Awesome. Um. With that, then that brings us to Nyx. Um, I am going to stick clo oh, oops, close behind Ooh. Alina and just, I'll go a little bit farther past her. Yep. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I, sure. I'll cast Mage Hand to open the door that's on the other end of the room. Uh, okay. The nice. room, uh, just in right all the way in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Do that. Nothing happens weird. You can see a room beyond. Uh, some kind of desk with stuff on it, but hard to get a better look until you get closer to the door. But oh, a desk. Janara, that brings us to your turn. Okay. Can I... I know I need to avoid the, the area in front of me that's shimmering, but can I jump over it? You may certainly try. I'm yeah. a monk. We'll call it your choice of acrobatics or athletics to leap I... over the room on the ground. I'm better with acrobatics. Great. Uh... 15 plus 7 is 24. Yeah, easily enough. You're able to uh, clear it without touching it. Okay, so I'm going to land, I don't know, here-ish. Um, can I do an arcana check on that door? Go for it. Not 20 minus 1 for 19? Uh, yeah, it seems clear. Okay. I will open it and go through it. Yep. Uh, yeah, you are in some sort of library. Um, it smells a little moldy in here. 
Uh, the books on the shelves seem wet. Uh, they seem damp. Um, you don't know what the deal is with that. You wonder if any of these books are even usable. Um, but you also don't know why a hag would keep these books if they weren't usable anymore. So your guess is as good as anyone else's. Okay, I'm going to, I still have 15 feet worth of movement that I can use. I'm just going to, um, I'll come here so hopefully people don't have to use extra movement to get, actually I'll get all the way to the protection because I'm pretty sure I can. Great. Yes, I can. And I'm going to hold an action um, to just punch her when I see her. Awesome. Um, okay. Artemis, that brings it back to you. You're muted. So I can look and see um, my friends head through the other door. Yeah. I said, okay. What else is running off? I'm just going to look over at Cyprus ripping a hole in the wall and say, just keep going. Just keep burrowing best you can. Maybe we need a fast escape. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, still concentrating on detect magic. I'm going to move forward. I have 10. Enter here. 15. 20. 25. This first A on the ground. Yeah. Do I see there? You can you because you know where you're looking. Absolutely, you see these faint runes on the ground. Um, oh, okay. I will make sure to point that out to Penny. Um, and then you're still detect detecting magic. Correct? Yes. So let me just within the radius, you get a new ping that seems to be the same thing way up here. Jeez. Uh, you also get a variety of magical auras from the room that Nyx and Alina are in, um, from the, you know, potions and poisons in there, um, as well as a variety of minor magical auras from the room that Janara is in. Um, this is a nightmare. But nothing oh. in, nothing, nothing like the strong things you're getting from these uh, uh, wards on the ground. Okay. Oh my god, what the hell do I do? Um, we're all leaving the doors open behind us, correct? Sure. Everyone leave the doors open behind you. Just in case. Um... Okay, so I could see Bowman is kind of... Mm, I need to keep an eye on bowman -ish. I guess I'll... I'll step back one in case Penny wants to get through that door. I can keep an eye on Bowman. But, jeez, other than that, I guess hold the action for Eldritch Blast. Right. Um, can Cypress fit through the wall yet? Um, sure. Like this one. I just want him to come into here and start working on that door and wall. He's like, his head is like bumping against the ceiling inside. Yeah, like Talon's very, ripping. As it's much very as he cramped in in here for him. But yeah, yeah, that's stupid. Never mind. Get get back out there, buddy. I mean, he can do that. He's he's welcome to do that. I'm just letting you know that he's cramped inside, but. Yeah, I'm gonna have him do that. I'm gonna finish that wall to the right of him, and then he'll leave. Okay. Because we need a... I just have a feeling we need an escape. Sure. Um, that's... that's already... I think... hold on. I still have a bonus action and spells. Healing word exists. How many left? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, let's, um... One minute. Six more rounds. I could do a mirror image, or do I heal Bowman? I think I need to heal Bowman. 
I'll just keep watching after Bowman. I, I still yeah. have a greater healing potion, so I can use that. True. I... Uh, yeah, I will just hold... I'll just hold my action. Okay. I'll just blast. Okay, great. Penny, that's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go through the door that Janara went through. Wait, did she? No, she didn't go through that. No, she, she didn't did. go through that door. She okay. did not go through that door yet. I'm gonna open that door. Right, you see Janara in there, in some sort of library. Hi, Janara. And then Nyx ended up opening that door at the north, but didn't go in. Correct. Okay. So five, I'm gonna go 10, 15, 20, um, 25. I might be on a table. Is that a table? That's a, yeah, that's, so you're now in this room, there's, yeah, there's a desk in here covered in sort of weird arcane stuff. There's a skull in the center of the desk. Um, and you see various, uh, animal heads on the walls, all, just like the bearskin rug in the entry foyer, which you didn't see, uh, cause you didn't go in through that way. Um, but, uh, not well tanned or cured, uh, very grotesque and smelly and disturbing. Gross. Okay. Then I'm going to go back through that door and I'm going to take the dash action and I'm just going to go five, five, ten, but mm, I'll stay next to Janara right there. Great. Okay. Bowman, that's your turn. Uh, I'm going to find the dice that I actually like rolling. There we go. Um... As my action, oh, should I save it? Yeah, this is a pretty big boss. I'm gonna use the my potion of healing superior that we okay. have. Right. Um. So that's eight d four. So that's thirty. Thirty two plus four. So thirty six HP. Right. Awesome. You. So Bowman is almost is over the amount of HP he had before he died. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete that because I only got one of those. Um Bowman's gonna hop down from his from his high horse uh and move. Hmm. He's going to move to that door that's almost diagonally across from him. Okay. Um, can I do a perception or an investigation check to see if it's booby-trapped? We'll say, uh, yeah, you can do a perception check. Okay. Perception. That was an 18. 18. Uh, you don't think it's booby-trapped. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to open it up and walk through. Great. Looks good. Uh, you're in a wine uh, cellar of some kind. Uh, wine bottles on wine racks with various name, various weird names in here. Um, you see several that seem to just be labeled as arsenic with no uh, other distinguishing feature. Uh, I'm not really much of a wine guy. Um, let me just double check something on you. Nope, that's all you get. Okay. Um, I'm, I, Bowman's going to do what I see, what, what he does when he usually sees bottles of liquor, uh, and it's just pour it all <laughs> into his portable hole. Yeah, you if grab, you, a, if you, you allow that as a free action. You grab a handful of bottles and throw them into the portable hole, easy enough. Okay, uh. Something. Okay. Um, yeah, easy enough. All right, I'm going to use the rest of my action to actually go back out here and just so I'm keeping line of sight with Artemis. Great. And that's my turn. Okay. Brings us back around to Mother Lorinda. She trips again! 
and She's dies. Uh, Nyx and Elena, you see uh, Mother Lorinda comes through the wall in the opposite in the opposite room, in the study, and then through the open doorway. Um, and she says, oh, Hello, dearies. Mm -hmm. I feel like I haven't been paying you enough attention. That's awfully... No, you have. That's awfully rude of me. Um, she thrusts out her hand, uh, and what I need from both of you is a, a constitution saving throw. Ooh, okay. That's a 23. I got a natural one. Okay. Oh, no. Um, Elena, you'll take half damage, uh, but uh, uh, Nick, you will take full damage. Um, so. What type of damage? At least uh, he's not using the mouse auto I will let you know. Uh, the total is 36 points of poison damage as mm -hmm. a cloud of poison shoots out from her hand and temporarily fills the room. Um, so, Elena, you take half of that, um, which is... 20, or 19. Um, 18. 18. Yeah. Um, you also both see that now that something has changed about her. She now appears to be enveloped in a, uh, a, a shell of prickly thorns. Um, so, just so you know. Um, Nyx does not look good. That is, she actually had to use all of her movement to get there, so that is the end of her turn. Yes! Um, <laughs> um, so, yes! Do I have to roll for concentration because I got, took damage now? Yes, you did. Yes, you do. Uh, okay. Please roll a concentration, that's a constitution saving throw. Um, and it's, Oof. it's 10 or half the damage you took, whichever is higher. So 10 is the number you need to beat. Okay. Then it was a 12, so. Great. Hooray. You maintain concentration. Um, but yeah, your turn. What would you like to do? Um. I will... Uh, I'm going to cast Word of Radiance at um, Mother Lorinda. Okay. Which is a constitution saving throw. Okay, great. That is a 13. Uh, that's a failure. Awesome. So she will take... Not the best. Seven radiant damage. Okay. You blast her with this radiant energy after speaking a short uh, prayer. Um, and she snarls a little bit as the thorns uh, surrounding her seem to wither slightly. Okay. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to grant Nyx the additional... Five hit points. Okay. Thank you. Um, and then for movement, I'm gonna move to open this door here. Okay, great, easy enough. But I'm not gonna leave the room because I don't want Nix to be alone with her. Yep, that's fine. You're able to open the door easily enough. Um, okay. At the end of your turn, she is going to use a legendary action. Um, 
and she's going to look at you, Elena, and say, uh, it just seems so, so crude to heal with that radiant magic. Uh, potions are the way to do things properly, you understand. And she tosses out a, a vial which explodes at your feet, and I need a constitution saving throw from you. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. That's an 11. That is an 11. So that is a failure. Yep. So you're going to go ahead and take... Uh, 16 points of poison damage, um, and you have disadvantage on your next attack roll before the end of your next turn. Okay, and then another concentration check? Yep. Uh, 10 again. 9. Or a mm. vitality drops. Um... <laughs> The map looks so sad. Map yeah. <laughs> it was so fun and glittery. <laughs> um, At least we all immediately feel that. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Uh, Nyx, that brings us to your turn. Okay. Um... All right. Um... Gonna run... At her. Okay. I'm gonna run at her and poke her. Go for it. A nineteen. A nineteen uh hits. Um, you don't add any sneak attack. You don't have an yeah. ally within range. Yeah. Um, and you don't have advantage. Yep. Yeah. So. So that's. And you said you charged up to her? Yeah. Can you move your oh, yeah. token up there? Um, 13 points of damage with my rapier, but I'm also gonna back at her. Okay. And slice her with my dagger. Real quick, as you stab into her with, her, with your rapier, the uh, thorn... The thorny uh, uh, armor that she seemed to have around her explodes with that hit. So the thorny armor is gone. However, you are pelted with thorns in the process and take an additional 11 piercing damage. That's really not good. Okay. I was gonna... Um, um, but you still have your bonus action, so. I'm going to bonus action disengage from coming to run behind Alina. <laughs> All right. Great. Um, okay. Uh, okay, great. Um, at the end of your turn, she's going to use a legendary action. Um, she gets enveloped by, uh, moth wings, um, in a whirlwind. She's going to fly straight past both you and Alina, and then go up through the ceiling, um, and disappear. Uh, as she's flying past you and Alina... Um, I, uh, you are both going to take eight bludgeoning damage. Is there any way that I can avoid that? Mm, do you have a reaction that would let you avoid that? I don't know. Um... um Uncanny dodge? Yeah, you can uncanny dodge. Okay. Okay, okay. So I believe that causes you to take half. Yeah. So you take four instead of eight. Okay, I'm still there. I'm still up. Would I have made you be down? Mm -hmm. Good to know. And that brings us to Janara's turn. This map. I am... 
Do I know she was just here? Uh, I have you heard. have no line of sight, so unless one of your friends specifically, I'm sure you heard noise in other, in another room, but you don't know specifically what was happening. But you know the the magic aura. And you the know glitter. the magic aura disappeared. Yes, that's true. Um, this door's open. So I'm gonna come here. Was this door ever opened? Which door? So. The one I'm in front of. Uh. Yes. Yes, that door is open. That door is open. I'm going to come here. I am going to use my action to take my superior potion and put it in your mouth, Nix. Great. (laughs) (laughs) You apply a healing potion to Nix. (laughs) Um... (laughs) That is, what is it? 8d4 plus 8? Oh, gosh. Two, so two, you don't... 30, 36. You don't, yeah. We, as a, as a reminder, we okay. just rule that it's the max damage on a potion because you're using a full right. action to drink it. There you um, go. So I think it's, if it's 8d4 plus 8, that would actually be 40. Is it plus 8 or plus... It's plus 8. Oh, okay. I'm going to add four more. Four more. You have four more. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Um, how much of my movement was that? Ten. Twenty. Twenty. Four. Okay, that's very close to my movement. I'm just going to back up so you don't have to go through me if you want to move through the room. That's my turn. Okay. I'm still holding the action to punch her when I see her. Sure. Uh, well, it was your action to force feed the potion. <laughs> so you can't hold an action. Oh, it was because I... Fun. Right. Yeah, but you know what I mean. I um, got you, I got you. Willingly accepted that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Artemis, it is your turn. Every single time I think I know what I'm gonna do, she fucking disappeared. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, yeah, I guess did a lot of damage to her in the first couple rounds. She's no fool. Mm-hmm. She's a fucking genius, and it's very frustrating. <laughs> um okay, I'm gonna five ten to get to here so I can see what's going on. Yep. Where is she? Everyone okay? She's upstairs. Oops. I think she um, went... Upstairs. Oh, that's so stupid. What is it? <laughs> that's so stupid. Don't leave the party. Okay, um, so how bloody, how bloody is everyone looking? Um, I think of the three people in that room, Nyx is the worst looking. Looking rough. Still, even oh, after the potion. But that's two healers with her. Yes. Yeah. Penny was looking okay. Penny's looking mostly okay, yep. Penny's, and, and Bowman's running away from me. So, oh, Nyx is huge. <laughs> Nyx becomes the house. <laughs> Nyx gets pissed off. Bonus action rages. Hulks out. <laughs> That's like a double enlarge or something. <laughs> um, I was up. How many do I? No, that's so stupid. You said that like five times. I know, I just, I, I want to chase her. Stupid is fun. Here's the thing. I want to chase her. I could disappear and get up to her, but then I can't get back if I need to. Mm. Like, I could just appear upstairs, but I feel like that's super dumb. Oh, here's a question. When she got close, did she at all light up an aura, magical essence at all? Oh, she would absolutely have a magical essence about her. Great. 
do I of... how tall are these ceilings? Do I detect matter her? of fact? Let's see. Well, what's the difference? I'm gonna force you to think three dimensional. Yeah, you are. I uh, know that I, I appreciate it. That's there. You know what? I am gonna say she is still within range. Um, you now get a ping of, from her. He's there. Yeah. Where am I in relation? Am I to the right of those stairs? Is that where I am yeah, in relation to that map? to the right of those stairs in relation to her. I have no idea what I would be bamfing into. Um, I'm just going to point up and pinpoint that for everyone. Uh -huh. And be like, she's up there. I will keep pointing at wherever she moves as long as she's within 30 feet. But I'll say that a little quieter. Yeah. I won't scream it so she can hear. Um, God, what the hell am I going to do? Does anyone need anything from me real quick? Is there something I do that someone needs in the next, like, two seconds? I don't know. Oh, God. Okay. Have we found stairs yet? Has anyone found stairs at all? No, so I'm assuming we have to keep going deeper into the house. Okay. Then I'm just going to... Okay, there's two there. I'm going to go back to where I was to keep an eye on people. Okay. Great. Um. Yeah, holding action, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Bless you. Um, Thank you. One hour. Yes. Eldritch Blast so action. And we'll finally end my turn. Okay. Great. Um, okay. That is then going to bring us to Penny. Okay. I'm gonna go five. Five. I'm trying to go diagonal. It's not like letting me. Okay, ten. I'm gonna open this door. Yep. That I think Jannar had already gone through. I think I opened that okay. one. All right. Fifteen. Say hi to Bowman. So. Twenty. Twenty-five. I'll open this door. Yeah. Already opened. Already, already opened. Okay. I'll dash so I can go again. Five. 10, 15, 15, 20. Um, and can I open this door? Yep. And I'll go in here. I think you have five more feet of movement if you want. Oh, then I'll go right here. Great. Do I see anything in the room? Uh, you are in some sort of dining room, though you can't imagine what company she would have over. Uh, but you see two tables laden with, like, old rusty dishes um, and utensils with, like, rotted leftovers of a meal. Gross. Amazing. Um, great. Bowman, that's your turn. I am going to pretty much follow Miss Presswell. Okay. All the way over there. Still, that's about, that's five feet. That's my full movement right there. Um, uh, but, uh, no. Sorry. Trying to think of what I want to do. Gotta just be strategic. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. Uh, real quick. Uh, Bowman's going to turn to Penny and say, I think we're losing the sight of what we actually came here for. We're looking for the detectives. And we're hunting this witch. Trust me, I want to kill her just as much as the next guy, but we need a But I think out. we have to kill her to find the detectives. She's just going to keep coming at us until she's dead. Yeah. Well, let's hope we kill her soon, then. Um, I'm going to bonus action uh, blinding smite and then at third level, uh, and that will be my turn. Okay, great. Um, right, that is Mother Lorinda's turn. Jeez, what does she want to do? Yeah. 
okay. Uh, Artemis, she's going to disappear mm. from the radius of your spell, um, but you sense that she's moving north. I'll yell that. Moving north! Um, she is, not me. So. Elena, that brings us to your turn. Okay. Um, um, I guess I'm just going to try to move. Yeah. Um, go this way. One, five, one. Go there. You do not. Did you step on that A or no? Did you? No. There? Okay. No, I would have gone around it. Yeah. Sorry. No. You're... <laughs> I didn't go. I did. I would have moved diagonal, but I was using the arrow keys, not sure. the. That makes sense. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Um. Thirty. Um, I guess I'm gonna dash as an action. Yeah. And I don't know where anyone went, so I'm gonna go there. Okay. Is that door open yet? Uh, no, I don't think so. Can I open it? Yeah. You open it up. You see a room, uh, this appears to be some sort of pantry. Shelves are filled with, um, jars and boxes that appear to be filled with, like, spices and oils and stuff. But again, the room smells, like, gross and moldy, like this stuff has just been sitting here for a long time. Okay. Um, great. Next. Yep. Um, I'm going to take out my own potion. Um, it's just a uh, greater potion of healing. Uh, and I'm going to down that. Great. So that's an additional 20. Yeah. Um, then I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm gonna look at Janara. And they like, and then I guess we're going that way. And just go around. I think that's as far as I can get. Okay. Janara, that brings us to your turn. How well lit is the house? Um, I mean, it's decently lit. Uh, but if you're specifically looking for shadows, there are plenty of shadows. Can I shadow step all the way to here? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then I would like to do an arcana check on this door. Door seems, uh, make an arcana check. Thirteen. Door seems fine. Okay, I'm gonna open this door. Okay. Uh, you, I will say Artemis probably would have shouted out that he did sense a mm -hmm. magical aura from this from this general area. Um, can I? Can I? Can I leap over? Uh, yeah. So as you step into this room, you see on your right uh, is a large um, chest of some kind. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can absolutely make athletics or acrobatics to clear the rune on the ground. That was a 22 for acrobatics. Easily, easily enough. You can make it to the other side of that room. Okay. Um, I check this door for, yep. Go for, for magic. Okay. Go for it. Oh, that was another nat 20 minus one for 19. Okay, uh, 19. Uh, yeah, again, um, seems good. Seems clear. I'm at 25. 
Sweet. Then I'm going to bonus action or uh, use the dash action to get here and open this door. Uh, great. You open that door. See stairs going up. Great. Um, I think I have enough movement to get up the stairs with my uh, dash. Well, how much movement did you use to get there? Thirty. So it's. To go around the room, it was 40, but I don't know how much you, and then you used an initial. Yeah, I think I can get like right within the stairs, but I'd rather not block the stairs. So I'll actually just use some movement now that the door is open. Okay. To be like stairs. Great. There we go. Okay. Artemis, it's your turn. Okay. Um, question. Would you allow a free message cantrip to say the following? Has anyone found stairs aimed at whoever I saw last go through the doorway to the wine room? I'll allow it. Right. Whoever was the last person. Has anyone found it stairs? It was Bowman. Um... Yeah, Janara just opened a door. That's a stairway going upstairs. Okay. I'll meet you up there. I'm going to turn to Nyx. Hey, a little bit ago, we jumped up in the air. Remember that? You're not looking great. I don't want to leave you, but I'm going to bamf up. You want to come with? Like, to where she is? I'm going to go on the second floor. Yeah. I'm going to hopefully surprise her and make her stay in one place. So that we can get her. Can you just make sure I'm behind you? Yeah. Hey, here, climb on my back like a backpack. Okay. Great. Okay. And um, you dimension and then, door? Yeah, dimension door. However many feet is the stair. Well, I mean, with 500 feet, you can jump to pretty much anywhere on the second floor you want. So you take your pick. But I don't want to. I don't want to accidentally jump into like the same a wall. Sure. But like I don't know that. I'm just gonna go straight. I'm just gonna go straight up because okay. I know how tall that ceiling is, and just give a little extra of whatever many feet that is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then I'll take say it with me. Great. Then I will say, if you're going straight up, you guys will appear here. I guess we'll flip you guys around so this makes us all easier. Boom. There you go. You got your new location. Uh, this room that you find yourselves in is some sort of a study? Um, fireplaces in here, uh, table filled, covered in, like, powder, strange powders. Um... Yeah, this is where you are now. Okay. Detect magic is still going. Anything within Detect 30 feet. Is still going. Yes, you are correct. Let me switch to wool or to wool. Uh, great. So you see... Boom. There's a rune there. Uh, you sense a rune over here. See. Sense of rune over here. You sense some powerful magic <coughs> over here. Mm. Powerful. Does detect magic tell you school of magic? It does. Powerful combination of abjuration and uh, conjuration magic. Oh. Um, beyond the wall to uh, uh, on the left. Um, yeah. And then 
just barely at your radius, you can also sense the same magical sort of aura um, that surrounded Mother Lorinda before. Mm -hmm. So you have pretty much charted out. You've got, you can get a large portion of the second floor in your uh, detect magic. Radius. Yeah. Oh, that's so much information. Okay. So I've used an action. I don't look, I'll let Nyx off yeah. my back. Yeah. She's currently that way. Okay. Um, there's something on the other side of the door at the end of this hall. There are things to the east of us. Ooh, five, ten. How far? Oh, God, but there's a thing there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. It's like 20 feet and then the door, right? 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah. Is that a door or a doorway? That, so in front of you is an opening into a sort of sitting room area, and then you've got an actual door in the wall there. So you can see the room that's right in front yeah. of you. Yeah. Um, Oh, jeez. I... Oh, and you moved. So you also get... This one. Oh. Well, that's a good thing to know. Oh, God, what a terrible little closet that is. <laughs> Ooh. Um, B for bad closet. <laughs> B for bad closet. Like, the, the letters are just d, &D Beyond doing whatever. Right, Letter, it's not a different school of magic or anything. They're not necessarily different schools of magic. They are mostly for me, um, except okay. for okay. the fact that I mean the different letters mean different things to me. But okay. I think all of these would count as the same school of magic. They're certainly all like abjuration. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, abjuration. Okay. Um, with enough of a running start here, I would like to attempt, now the last time I did this, some, some monk things, I landed in the sewers, so this will go well. Um, I want to get a running start and like, swing around this open doorway okay. and like propel myself diagonally over whatever is on the ground. Yeah. Uh athletics or acrobatics, your choice. Um that is going to be acrobatics, shockingly. Oh my god, I never got out my dice. <laughs> Have you not rolled this whole time? Have you rolled this whole time? Oh wow. God. Wow. What? You okay. told me to get out my knife. <laughs> <laughs> Acrobatics. Um, it's not great. It's a 15. 15, I'll say, is good enough to swing around the door frame without touching the... Uh... Can I attempt to do it stealthfully? With 15? Make a stealth check with disadvantage. Ooh, with this? Okay. What is stealth? Stealth. Oh, incredible. Okay. Disadvantage. That's not good. And that's what it is. Um, 15 again. Okay. Uh, you make some noise as you like hit this sort of table and chair setup off to the side, but um, you don't think it's too, too loud. Okay. I believe that is all of my movement. Um... And I think that's going to be it. Right. Yes. Penny, that's your turn. Okay. I'm going to start going up the stairs. Great. You can make it to the top of the stairs with 30 feet. Okay. Top, top of the stairs, like, on the second floor. Right. Okay. You said 30 feet? Yeah. 
it's not the map isn't lined up perfectly, but it's, it's what it's, it's. Do you want to move I... yourself like officially over to the top of the stairs in the second floor? Okay. I was gonna say, can I move myself so that? I... <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh... Um. As soon as you arrive at the top of the stairs, Mother Lorinda is going to, uh, use her held action, um, to attack. That. She trips. She trips. That's a non-natural 20 to hit. Uh, shield. Okay. Uh, she does get two attacks. Classic. Uh, that is going to be a 23 to hit. That hits. Okay. So. Does it still, shield last two rounds? Or the but entire? It's season? only plus five. Oh, that's okay. twenty two. Oh, Beat it by one. Uh, I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. Okay. Um. Non natural twenty. Non natural twenty. Okay, you succeed on the strength saving throw. But sh these thorns shoot out towards you. You dodge one. The other catches you in your arm. Um, painful as you take 19 points of piercing damage. Um, brambles and thorns start growing out of the wall and start growing out of the thorn in your arm. You manage to yank it away and toss it aside before you become grappled. Uh, though your arm is now covered in burrs. But... Amazing. Okay. Um... I'm at the top of the stairs. Yep. Which is sucks. Sorry that I'm blocking it, but I'm gonna attack. I'll shoot Great. her. Great, go for it. Take your attack rolls. All right, we've got a twenty-one. That hits. A twenty-two. Also hits. In a natural twenty. All right, let's see what the damage Woo! is going to be. Okay. Um, okay. As, no. as you load your gun and fire your shots, Mother Lorinda has just done this bramble attack against you and said, and says, uh, I am the god of this realm. Don't you see? There's no point. Just relax and let this happen. Do I have to make a save for that? No. Okay. That's just well, I'm, that's just well funny. I'll say I'm Penny Presswell, ace reporter from Waterdeep. And then I'll shoot it. Yeah! <laughs> I'm Penny Presswell and I never relax. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been relaxed a day in my life. The first hit is twelve. Okay. Um the second is eighteen. And then so I do max damage. Plus a roll, but only my modifier once. Yes, correct. Okay, so. So that's 32. Oh. She needed 33. <laughs> Penny, what does it look like as you kill Mother? Right. Um... Yeah, I mean, Penny's mad because she said something. So she's just going to go, she's literally just going to say, I'm Penny Presswell, ace reporter. And then she's just going to fire off three attacks. Okay. You shoot her three times, once in the chest, once in the stomach, and once smack dab between the eyes. Electricity surges through her. She wails. Um, and as she wails, you all feel everywhere in the house energy sort of surging up through the house, through her. Penny, you hear this buffeting wind sound. The lights in the room dim and darken, and there's an explosion of dark energy. You're thrown back against the wall, and Mother Lorinda is no more. Woo! Got her! I'm just gonna yell that. What? What? Yeah, Penny! she... She's dead. I'm on the second floor. Penny Presswell. God killer. <laughs> oh my god, she is a... Oh, she's not a god. She's like a... 
<laughs> the god of the realm. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Ah, that's pretty cool. So we exit initiative order. Oh thank God. Like she's dead, dead now, right? Ah, uh, seems dead. I'm gonna move out of the way. Right. People can walk up. Everyone, let's all convene in one place. I just like let's hug or something. I've got a little <laughs> longer of knowing where magic is, but like let's just like group hug. Can we all meet up at the top of the stairs and I'll cast um healing prayer? Great. Uh, let me just roll for that. What if the detectives aren't in here? Wouldn't that be super funny, goofy? Your detectives are in another castle. Yeah. Even if they're not here, though, I bet there's there's got to be something. Yeah. All right. Everybody gets an additional 17 HP. Nice. How are people looking? Better. I'm kind of bruised. Um... Doing fine. Actually, as she dies, all of the rooms nice here as well. The other sources, oh. the other sources of magic Artemis remain. The other ones, like in your radius, remain, but uh, the rooms okay. that you sensed are gone. Oh, Nix, how low are you? Uh, now I'm at seventy nine out of one hundred and two, so I'm not oh. that bad. Right. Good. Well, good job, Penny. Yeah. Nyx has a, you have a hundred max, that's your max? Mm -hmm. Why am I at 93? Bad rolls, low yeah. con. Well, your con's not bad. Your con's pretty good. My con's amazing. It's low, <laughs> must be low rolls on your level. Ooh. Maybe you'll get, maybe you'll get a better roll next level up. Probably not. Whatever that is. Okay. Maybe tonight. Who knows? We never Everyone's know. Good. Anyways. Everyone's good. Bowman, you're you're good. Yeah. I mean, I died. But there's nothing there's no, rem no ramifications for that. Did you see anything when you died? No, unfortunately, no. Well, there was this weird thing. We'll talk about it later. Let's find the detectives. Okay. Sounds good. Have did we check all of the rooms downstairs? No, um, there are a couple there are a couple magic things I will I, describe where they are. Matt does not remember exactly yeah. where they are. So I also ran by oh, sure, there's a chest? I'm curious about a chest. Yeah, there's yeah. a chest or something. Yeah. So you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna throw on some letter A's for uh points of interest that y'all have discovered. How about so what kind of you? The A on uh A's on the first floor are the chest and the room with the potion vials in it. Mm -hmm. Um then this A over here on the second floor is the uh source of uh combination abjuration, combination magic, powerful thing that Artemis sensed. Um there may be stuff on the third floor as well. Haven't checked it, but in terms of like major points of interest that y'all have found but not done anything with yet, those are the three spots. Yeah, we're out of initiative, correct? Mm -hmm. You're out of initiative. How about uh, we split up? We split up. We deal with all these, and then we meet back here immediately yeah. after. Yes, let's. I would like to go to the third floor and try to find these detectives. Oh, that's another option. I can go to the third floor with Bowman. Two other people oh. can go downstairs and get stuff, and then two other people can check the second floor. Sure. Okay. Oops. I'll check second. This and then is... we'll meet back here. Okay. I will go. I'll go to the first floor and try to get all those potions and crap. Great. So, uh, let's do this. 
one group at a time. Let's start with first floor crew. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it in the order of the floors. Um. So, uh, yeah. First, uh, Janara, the chest. Um. You go to check it. It is locked. You can try uh, to force it open. You could try to pick it. I don't know if you have any lockpick stuff with I you. I don't have any lockpick stuff with me, I don't think. Uh, you oh, call I have a crowbar in my adventuring gear? I would give you advantage on an athletics check to rip this bad boy open. Crowbar is where it's at. They work pretty well. And you gave me advantage. <laughs> Okay, I got the same number twice. Twelve! Uh, that is unfortunately not gonna be good enough to pop this open. I'm gonna make a mental note to, to let Nyx know that that we need lock ticket skills. Great. Uh, <laughs> and then, Elena, you're over in this potion room. You already made a pretty good check earlier in terms of, um, in terms of, of sort of getting a sense of what's useful, what's not useful. Um, but just to sort of go through, let's see. Um, um, I'd like you to just roll a d20 for me. Ten. Ten. Okay. Great. Solid. That is that is solid. Um. So with a ten, you go through. You're sorting through these uh, uh potions, um, and poisons. Um, just a few things that you grab. Uh, let's see. You get. Let's say one potion of clairvoyance. Mm. Um, one potion of gaseous form. Uh, one potion of fire breathing. One potion of longevity. Uh, one potion of water breathing. Two potions of greater healing. Uh, one potion of superior healing, and one potion of supreme healing. Ooh. So, those are the potions you get. Can I ask what the poisons available on the shelves are, if I can recognize any of those? Yeah, make an investigation check for me. Seven. Seven. Um, I don't know that you, much about poison. I guess. You see a bunch of poisons here, but you don't know enough to know what poisons are what. Mm -hmm. um, they're all they're all labeled, but I, they're not labeled in they're not labeled in a way that makes sense to you. The the words on the labels seem to be written in common, but combined in such a way that they don't make any sense to you. Okay. Um Okay. 
Can I just grab like a handful of them? They're in like bottles and stuff, yeah, right? You can grab a handful. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab a handful and I'll ask my friends later if they know what these are. Great. Um, so that is the first floor crew. Second floor crew. You go into that room that Artemis sensed the source of magic. Going in here, you find this large, ornate mirror uh, propped against the wall. And as you step in front of it, instead of your reflection looking back at you, you see another person. In fact, you see two other people in the reflection. A dark-skinned man with... Uh, very curly, short hair, um, long sort of uh, a dark uh, trench coat, human, and uh, an elven gentleman, blonde hair in a wheelchair. Uh, the blonde elven gentleman in the wheelchair just seems to be sitting in the background of this reflection, just sort of thinking. But the um, the taller, uh, uh, the 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 human man. Um, seems to see you through the reflection and starts, like, pounding on the mirror. Artie, how did they get... How did they I get in there? don't know. I'll just, like, give him a thumbs up and then just, like, a... Wait one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Make a persuasion check for me. Like, a million. Um... 27. Uh, the human man seems to let out a, a sigh of some kind. And you see the elven man says something. Uh, not sure what it is. Um, human man just sort of nods and says something back. And then ah, they can't hear us. Looks, looks back at you and is just like Great. Great. Okay. Wow, I have a captive audience. No, nope, not now. Um, this is fascinating. I'm going to take out a piece of paper and write, how did you get in there? Um, you hold it up to the mirror. Uh, the human man looks at it, seems confused used for a second. Oh, is it weird? The elven man looks at it for a moment. He pulls out a notebook, writes something down, and he holds it up reversed for you. So that it would be mirrored to him, but for you, it is Nick, perfectly legible. This is not going to register for Nyx. She is going to be like, oh, cool. They can read it. Great. Um, Jeez. <laughs> the, the elven the elven man uh has written back. Um I would have thought it was elementary. The hag trapped us in here. Okay. I'm gonna like no, wait, no, I the hate word them now. how <laughs> on um, my paper. Elven man I'll investigate the mirror, arcana check on make the an mirror. arcana check. Um, you, uh, point to the how again, uh, he begins writing back and says, Unfortunately, among my many talents, supreme knowledge of the arcane arts is not one of them. Well, this guy has an ego to rival Artemis. Yeah, I was, I'm gonna tap on Artemis and go, I don't like him. Uh... <laughs> With my people. <laughs> the the human man is going to grab the notebook, write something, and hold it up to the mirror. And it just says, Apologies for my husband. He's a little big-headed. Um, being the smartest man he knows does that to him. <laughs> I'm going to... Okay. 
Is his writing the other guys, the human guys? He was watching what his husband did, so okay. he does write backwards. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give like a yeah. What? <laughs> Um, what did you get on your Arcana check, Artemis? It's a 10. Hard to crack this nut. It's a, it's some sort of combination of abjuration and conjuration magic. Um, I could I just care. dispel them. I could dispel the magic, but if this is like a portal or something and then we lose the connection. Do you want me to ask them questions before we get them out? And then at least we have the information. Maybe let's loop in with everyone. I'll I'll stay here and just kind of. Okay, I'll go downstairs. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thanks. Nix is gonna go check in with everybody else real quick. Let's pop up to the third floor. Check in on third floor team. Third floor team. Uh, you've arrived at this small landing. There's a shelf here. Two doors into different rooms. What are we doing? Do you think uh -huh. it's a smart idea to split up or stay together? Let's stay together. Okay. Um. Why don't we take the door that I'm in front of right now? I'll follow you. Right. I'm uh, back. Can I investigate the door before I open it up? Yeah. I know she's dead, but yeah, go and make an investigation check. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you don't seem to sense anything, any danger on the door. Uh, I'm just gonna hop in here then. What do I see? This is the cauldron room. Uh, there's a very large cauldron in here. Uh, fire underneath it. Um, as well as various, like, on, there's a shelf on the far wall that has sorts of a bunch of, like, plants and, and, um, pickled eyeballs and uh, uh, body parts of animals in jars. And stuff. Any moths for Bowman? There are uh, there are several jars of powdered moth. Bowman, it's your favorite food! Uh, the, I will literally throw up right now. The cauldron has a <laughs> lid on it and you can hear um, muffled coming from inside the cauldron. Ah! New visitors, not Lorinda, let us out. Yes, let us out. Let us out of the cauldron. Please, we've been trapped in here for hundreds of years. Let us out. Let us out. I feel like we shouldn't do that. No, <laughs> I don't think we should either. Hey, Ben, how big is this cauldron? Stop. <laughs> it <laughs> is much too large to go in your portable hole. <laughs> I don't know why you assumed I was going to do that. but Only I because you do it with everything. With every person, object, yeah. landmark it comes yeah. across. Yeah. There's gonna be one there's gonna be one tiny boss we're gonna fight, and I'm gonna put it <laughs> in the top. My it will come wall. in clutch for that one tiny boss. <laughs> Didn't he um, put Vinny in there? He put body Vinny's was, dead body was in there, there yes. yeah, after you yeah. killed yeah. him. No worries. I'm just I, gonna say I, sorry to the cauldron and I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm gonna put something heavy on there just to keep it <laughs> shut. Oh my god! Is there like I don't know a bookcase in this room? You I mean, there's the whole shelf. There's the whole shelving unit with all the like powders and stuff on it. You could yeah. I'm gonna off. do. I'm gonna put that just. All right, make right a strength side. check for me. Uh, da, da, da. 22. Yeah, you're able to clear that off, drag that over, and just sort of tip it on its side so that it keeps the lid closed. We can't but tell anyone that there was people or spirits in there. Because they're going to want to come back to let them out. We can't uh, do that. I, I'm, I, as, as you're walking away, they're like, Agreed. no, we'll give you power, we'll give you magic, please let us out, let us out. I'm good. I'm good. Um, the next room, Miss Preston. Yeah, yeah. I'll investigate the door. Uh, you investigate it. Uh, yeah, make an investigation check. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, seems fine. I'll go in. 
you go in. Uh, this room also has, uh, it's basically storage for extra potion supplies. So more pickled things, more powders, more um, uh, uh, vials of, of oil and uh, various other liquids and such. So. Any books? No books in here. All right. No detectives. Hmm. Um, well, Miss Preston, while I got you here, how are you doing? What do you... Oh, I'm good. My health is good. No, I mean, like, in here. In... <laughs> Bowman, we don't have time to get into that. Well, I couldn't even possibly understand what you're referring to. Are you referring to the fact that my best friend left me? Are you referring to the fact that I'm away from home for the first time? Are you referring to the fact that I'm seeing my dead mother? Are you referring to the fact that I just killed a god? Are you referring to the fact that I've left the one thing I've always wanted to do, which was journalism, and now I'm doing this other thing? Like, what what part of it are you referring to? Yeah, all of that. Okay, yeah, no, it's it's fine. It's great. Okay. Compartmentalizing okay. all of it. That's not helping yeah, well, it's the biz. You know what I mean. It's no, I trust me, I do, but you do not want to end up like this. I mean, you're great. You have a good job. You have friends. You've got a mysterious past. You know, you're rugged. You're buff. Okay, well, thank you for the last two. But um, you also have a great job and friends. It's yeah. not just Octavia, like, we are your friends. I thought, I am your friend. You're my friend? I think so. You call me Miss Presswell. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You don't, yes. you don't call Nyx Miss Leffrey. You don't call Janara Miss Darling. You don't call Artie Mr. Brightshield. I forgot his Lord. name. Lord. Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mostly because... <laughs> I don't want to cater to their ego, but also, I like your last name. Okay. It rolls off better. I feel like you like my last name because it's my dad's last name, and he's your best <laughs> friend. Okay. We're not best friends yet. Holy shit. We are getting there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But also, I would just like to say that you're quite an impressive young lady. <laughs> <laughs> also, can I, you can, you should totally brag to your two brothers that you killed a god. I absolutely oh. will be doing that. Although, <laughs> maybe not, because I think every time I talk to them, they get really anxious about what I'm doing. One time I almost implied that I might have been a prostitute, and that sent them over the edge, so now I don't talk to them <laughs> about this kind of stuff. Also, though, Bowman, I have to ask you, because you just said that I'm impressive, who do you think's more impressive, me or Rose Wilmington? You can you be honest. I, you. Okay. Rose Wilmington had a lot from the get-go. You did. I mean, yeah, she was, she's a Nepo baby. Well, yes, but she also had me, so. Wow. You, My... You're quite impressive. Thanks, Bowman. It means a lot. Let's go back downstairs. I'm feeling things I didn't want to feel today. Sounds good. And I died. Right. So um, Why are you asking me? You died. Bowman and Penny, you guys return to the second floor. Next, you go down to the first floor uh, to catch up with Janara. I wonder if Janara needs anything. To catch up with Janara and Alina to bring them upstairs. You find Janara struggling to open this chest. Can you do your thing? With I, your lockpicks, because I this is not my area. I, can, I yeah, I can try. Patented left free release. Okay. Um. You have expertise, have expertise, right? Expertise, yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Why were you looking so? Because sad? I rolled a five. Okay, you still got an eighteen. So. That's going to be good enough to open this lock. Uh, you find inside um, a bunch of bones, but also an ornate looking uh, sword, a uh, short sword, a uh, black steel blade, um, mm -hmm. 
a hilt with sort of a, a skull design on it. Um, it's a very cool sword. Um, you would probably want one of your magical friends to take a look at it, but I'm it gonna looks... cast Mage Hand. Cast Mage Hand to pick it up. Nothing happens. It gets picked up, but yeah. it doesn't... I'm not touching it. Okay. I'm not taking any more risks today. <laughs> Fair enough. You yeah. Mage Hand carry that sword with you. Um, Let's get Alina. Yeah, you go, right. find, you go find Alina, who's examining the potions and poisons. Um... That's yeah. a lot of bottles. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what these ones do, but maybe one of your friends? Yeah, I don't know what they do. Uh, Nyx, you oh, look... Oh, wait, I'm... No, I'm a... Nyx, I'm not an alchemist. Nyx, you look at the poisons, and they are labeled in thieves' camps. Uh, I know what that says! Um... <laughs> So with that, you know that uh, Alina has grabbed, I'd say, five bottles of Poison Basic. Five vials of Poison Basic. Uh, two vials of Drow Poison. And one singular vial... One singular vial of wyvern poison and one singular vial of purple purple worm poison. Cool. Do I know what that means? Yes. Like, uh, is it made out of a, those things or is only effective on those things? No, it is made from those things. Yeah. So, basic poison is just, basic. it's just a basic poison. You can apply it to a weapon uh, or to some ammunition. Um, drow poison is applied the same way. Um, it's made by the drow um, and is used to poison. So it's not made people. of drow? No. Why the <laughs> poison is an extremely potent poison harvested from wyverns and purple worm poison is an even more pot potent poison harvested from purple worms. I'm gonna put them in my bag. I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna, I have clams. Right, you okay. got a bunch of poison. She kills us all the next morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, when one eye um, open. And you should be able to find all of those on DT Beyond. Unless somebody else wants them, but I have, I have an idea. Uh, with that, you're all able to reconvene on the second floor to discuss the deal with the detectives in the mirror. Does message get through to them? Would you like to try? Yeah. Like, testing this message just to see what's going on. Right. To the human, because let's be real. Yeah, let me check something real quick. The message does not work. You don't okay. hear any response. Once everyone's gathered, I'll just, I'll grab a random thing, use it to touch the glass. If nothing happens, I will touch the glass very gently. Yeah, nothing happens. You can touch the glass fine. Okay. We're all gathered in this room? Yeah. Um, if they speak common, I can read their lips. Can they read your lips? Mm, no. No. <laughs> Unless they're very good. In, this, in ink and paper, and we can just chit-chat. Are, yeah. are we worried about breaking the mirror or something? Yeah. Well, seven years of bad luck. <laughs> well, Art, if this okay. is on top of bad luck, if this is the only way for them to get back and we do something wrong... Can I just <laughs> investigate with Arcana? Can I try something stupid? Well, uh, make an Arcana check. What was the stupid thing you'd like to try? Can I try to shadow step into the mirror? I had a feeling you were going to say that. 
that's a really good question. Let me let me let me look at the exact text of that feature because I feel like this is gonna be a finicky thing. Can I just normal investigate the mirror, not magically, just like I got 19 on my arcana. Okay. When you are in dim light or darkness, as a bonus action, you can teleport up to 60 feet to an unoccupied space you can see that is also in dim light or darkness. That you can see. And you can see the other side of the mirror. She can see it. Incredible. You know what? I'll allow it. <laughs> I'm really um, nice. You see Janara step into like a dark corner of the room disappear, and suddenly she's in the mirror. Oh. Um, As you appear in the mirror... Uh, I'm just gonna point at Hal again. Uh, as you appear in the mirror, the um, human sort of stumbles and hits the mirror. You were in an identical version of the room, but it has no doors. Mm -hmm. Um, The human sort of stumbles backward. Uh, The detective in the wheelchair who turns towards you and says, Well, that is simply incredible. What a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am the famous detective Alan Gray. This is my dear husband, Arthur Sedgwick. Nice to meet you both. I am Janara. Um, those are my friends outside the mirror. Um, Penny. Bowman, Artemis, Alina, uh, and Nyx. As Jr. is pointing to the pointing to us, we're I'm gonna be like, what is she saying? What? <laughs> I think she um, forgot to mention my title. <laughs> I will start relaying very quickly because I'm reading her lips. <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> friend Penny can read our lips if we are facing the mirror. Um, they're trying to figure out how to get, well, the three of us now out of here. I'm quite certain I could probably get myself out of here, but I don't believe I can bring either of you with me. Mm -hmm. Um, now I'm sure, um, mother trapped you in here. Can you give me any other information for how you got stuck in here? Did she do anything? Did she say anything? Um... The human man, uh, Arthur, um, says, uh, whew, well, it was, um, it, it was something else, uh, Alan, Nick, and I, we, we, um, we were doing some investigation. Did you guys find us because of the carnival? We did, yes. Yep. That's what, that's what Alan thought. Where you where you were coming from makes sense, I suppose. Um, we were doing some investigation for for the carnival, trying to find someone who was um betraying, um betraying them, betraying. Yep. <clears throat> I sold, and um, well, a few nights ago, I it's hard to track of time in here. Um, I was, well, it, it was my fault. And Alex says, Arthur, it's here. No, it wasn't. My husband was keeping watch uh, one evening while I was looking at some of the uh, data um, and when he was doing so, um, our traitor had snuck into the tent from the opposite side, uh, incapacitated me, and then incapacitated Arthur. Um, next thing we knew, we were um, being handled by some people in the village of Victor, uh, and being handed over to Mother Linda. She said something to the effect that we would be 
our life essences would be useful in the next time she had to create a daughter. So, um, you know, not wanting our uh, life essences to be consumed, as you can imagine, well, we were trying to find a way out, but unfortunately, um, you know, we're skilled fighters, but Mother Lorinda's the dark lord of this realm, so we were um, outmatched. Yes, well, if it makes you feel better, my friend Penny over there killed her. Well, she's a talented fighter, then, it seems. She did it all on her own. <laughs> I, I would love to be able to tell you more about how to get us out of here, but unfortunately, I know a lot about a lot of things. I mean, a lot of things. Magic is not one of those things, and it doesn't... It was never something that I pursued beyond the basic training that most elves get. So, unfortunately, um, I don't have an answer. Right. Um, I'm going to look at the mirror and say, Penny, did you catch all that? <laughs> I have a question. Can I try casting Vortex Morph on one of them? Well, let me look at what Vortex Warp does. Oh, Ben, did I get anything from that 19 on Arcana? Yes, you... Uh, I mean, a 19 Arcana, this is, again, this is some sort of combination of abjuration and uh, conjuration spell on the mirror. Um, you would imagine that it would work like most spells like there's a spell effect keeping them trapped in there if that spell effect were to be disabled then it could potentially let them out you that's your best guess Lord, uh, it's a war. i'm gonna turn to artemis while you're figuring that out um all you can do remove curse if you want to do dispel magic at the same time well, let's make some room and one after the other. I don't have a lot of energy left for spells. I could so. do both. I could do both. I just can't do both at the same time. Oh, sure. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this. Maybe I'm being extra paranoid because you know you died, and I didn't like that. I don't know if you liked it. Oh, I died. Can't quite get a read on that, but. Go for it. Go for it. I'll I'll stand over here and watch back. I'm gonna do remove curse on this thing. Okay. Um if there was a curse upon it, it is now removed. Uh, Great. but it does not dispel the magic by keeping them trapped in there. Okay. And then I'll just dispel magic. Okay. So now, what level are you casting to spell match at? Three, three. So I need you to. to we're gonna. Have, you're gonna have to roll for this because this yeah. is a higher level spell. Great. So you're rolling a d twenty and you're adding your um, spell Mod modifier, which for you would be charisma. Okay. I feel like that was pretty good. 23. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, you cast uh, Dispel Magic and suddenly Janara, Arthur, and Alanik come tumbling out of the mirror as the mirror Ooh. is turned into a normal mirror. Um... Oh. Arthur helps Alanik back into his wheelchair, back up. Um, Alanik says, ah, Well, my thanks to all of you for 
helping uh, helping us out in that situation. Now, we must hurry back so that I can tell I sold who her who, traitor is. Yeah, who, who did the trait? Because we heard about that. Hmm. Well, I don't know how many people you interacted with there, but the traitor is the lead carnival barker, Tyndall. Did we meet him? Was he the one that uh, welcomed us? Yes. Oh, we didn't take the tour from him. Maybe if we took the tour, he'd give us weird vibes. <laughs> is he vibes still? But let us hurry back. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we, um, these woods suck like really bad mice. So maybe we leave the house and it's like, don't is there a particular rush house, you have? Do you think we can make the house walk to where we need to go? I don't want to be in this what? house anymore. Yeah, I'd like to burn it down. You know what? <laughs> I I like Nix's idea. Let's let's see if we can find some controls for this this baby. Oh my god! I can we drive a boat. I can room. drive a car. I'm gonna drive a goddamn house. We I, went to every room. <laughs> I think uh, with that, as you all are debating on how to proceed <laughs> next, we will leave it for tonight. Uh, we'll pick up back here next time. Thank you all for playing, and thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye.